To be forewarned is to be forearmed, and having some kind of advance notice if somebody's coming into your general area, especially if you're vulnerable while asleep, is good to have. You know, whether you're on the bug out or whether you're camping, because there's a lot of crazy people out there in this world, and sometimes they mean to do you harm, and to take away the element of surprise can save your life. Now we're gonna look at a number of different alarms. Two of them are commercial, two of them we've made up, and then one is an electronic alarm. Now we've done separate videos on all these. I just wanted to put together a compilation. And a lot of this is footage from those original videos. But this is not rocks in a can, nuts and bolts in a can on a string. Uh, this is a little more sophisticated and definitely more effective. Now here we have the perimeter alarm set out. There's a lot of different styles here. And we're gonna take a look at each one and some of the pros and cons of using one over the other. Now as far as cool factor, of course, using hand grenade tops <laughs> is a lot of fun. Now these are for actually for smoke grenades, and so this is legal to use. I mean, you can find these in a lot of different places. Gun shows are one of the most popular. Uh, I found a lot at gun shows. Uh, there is some websites that have them, but it's hit or miss. And so what we have is a standard hand grenade top, and of course the canister's gone. We have our spoon, we have our pull pin, and here's one with the spoon removed. You'll notice right here that it has what it looks like a, the back of a case. This has a spent primer. Then we have a hammer. So when you pull this, this spring activates that hammer and it falls onto the primer. Uh, and so this is the way typically once you remove the spoon. Now here we have it with the case removed. And one of the things you'll have to do typically is drill out that hole. Uh, through the case to allow for a 12 gauge shotgun primer and that's what you're going to use for this it's really easy uh, and so here's the hammer and again you just pull this out the hammer activates the firing pin and then it goes into the primer and it sets it off and there are holes right here where you can attach this to tree or fence post even your railing on your deck and these are 209 shotgun primers and you just drop them right into the hole and now you're ready to go. Once this pin's pulled, it'll fall onto the primer. And then when you're finished, you just remove it. Now while I believe we use standard monofilament line, uh, it can break before it pulls the pin out. So I like to use trip wire, and this is military surplus. You can get this in a lot of different places. And then I have some Kevlar uh, wire. And this is Kevlar line that actually will not break. And so that's one thing that's really good to have over even heavy test monofilament line. You tie your tripwire through this loop and then you attach it to another place, uh, whether it's a building, a tree, or fence post or whatever. That way when somebody trips that wire, it's gonna pull this pin and it'll set off the alarm. First, we're gonna secure an anchor point for the tripwire. Then we're gonna tie on our tripwire. We're gonna do this side first. That way you don't accidentally set off uh, your alarm beforehand. One thing you want to do is any excess string, go ahead and cut it off because that'll be a telltale sign if they happen to see that string blowing. Now your cutter pin hole is right here, so you're going to want to put the nail through uh, this side. And what that'll do is it'll allow it to be up against the tree and then you can access your cutter pin right here. I want to probably put this about a foot above uh, just so somebody might not step over it inadvertently. And you want it to be a little bit out of the way. Having this nicely secured to the tree is going to be important. That way, your pin will give before this will pull out. To tie our trip wire through, you want to make sure that it's a good solid knot. We'll just drop the primer down into the primer pocket. Make sure your wire is taunt. That way, it'll trip correctly. Boy, that's loud. Wow, now that is definitely an alarm. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try it one more time. Okay, let's go ahead and decock it. There we go. Just pop it out. Drop one more in there. 
And we also have the pin still attached to the string. So if I want to set this up again, it's really easy just to do it. Guys, these are simple. They're very effective. They're easy to use. You can get these replacements to put these pins through. The only downside is finding hand grenade tops. And, you know, that's just a hit or miss thing, but you can find them. I see them a lot of times on different sites. Now, next is your standard mousetrap. Uh, this has just been painted green to kind of keep the color down, uh, make it a little more subdued. And you'll notice right here, we have a couple of holes drilled or just actually cavities. And we put standard pistol primers in each one. Now, they're gone right now. And we actually glued them right to the board. And so what you do is you glue them down and then you bring this back and you cock it just like you would a standard mouse trap. Next, you tie a string right here to the trigger, and then when it's pulled, it'll fire and land on these little uh, primers, and they'll set them off. And so it just kind of comes down and pops them. Okay, we're gonna put it on the inside of this post. Again, taking it slow to make sure you don't crack that board. Got it tied to a tree right here. Right here on this fence post is the trap. There you go. Uh, but I have used some of the bigger ones and actually put glow sticks in it. And so when it would hit, it would actually set it off that way. Okay, go ahead and pull this out. Okay, it was difficult to tell outside, but here you can see that they are glowing uh, when I brought them out. So I really wanted to do this test in the late evening, but we're going to dinner and a movie, and so this is going to have to do. But here we go. So while this is honestly the cheapest, it's a little more complicated to get it to work right. You want to make sure that your primers are set to where this will set them off. Uh, and of course, you know, it's just really primitive and it's flimsy. So out of all the different perimeter alarms that we have, this is my least favorite. Now these are probably some of my favorites. Uh, they're built like tanks. These are the Century Alarm Mines. I mean, these things are welded together. They're very simple, but yet they're very effective. And these will last you a long time in a survival type situation. In fact, I'll have the website to these down below. I had a friend of mine that sent these to me that got me started on these. But I did notice that they were in some battle boxes, which I thought was kind of funny. Uh, in fact, we gave some away on our Patreon Live, which we do some giveaways there. But uh, this is really simple. You use your standard RAM set. These are uh, 22 blanks, but these are for nail guns. So there's no pr possibility of these actually hurting someone. They just make a really loud noise. In fact, they make a better noise than the primers do. You have two places you can drive this in to the ground, or you have these nuts right here. You can actually drill these into a building or to a fence post or et cetera, wherever you can find a place. And so then we take our lever here and we pull it up and we cock it just like this. And so it just sets on this ledge. Down here, you put your ram set. And so it just drops down in here. I'm not gonna set it since this is cocked. And then tie your trip wire here. And again, I would highly recommend some standard trip wire or this Kevlar wire, because to me, this is gonna actually probably break most of your monofilament line. Then what happens is when this is turned, now you don't wanna dry fire this, but when this is pulled with that trip wire, it drops down and it ignites the primer. And so it sets off your 22 blank. And guys, these are loud. Now we've taken some, just some twine. Uh, they do call for 12 pound monofilament. Of course you can use trip wire. And you just wanna get it on this little circle. And that's what that circle's for. And we're going to go ahead and put it in the ground before we cock it or set the firing pin. Here we go. So it goes down really nice all the way down. It's going to be really stable. I put a nail in the tree, tied this to it, just making sure it's taut once you get it to the alarm mine. Now pull up on your firing pin, set it on the shelf. Now that we have it in our cock position right here in the cup, we're going to place our blank or our ram set just like that. Now we're going to take our blank and get it out. So we're going to put this over to the side. And then this is what the spent blank looks like. Here I have the Century Alarm Mine attached to a door frame and took three wood screws and just mounted it to the frame. And we're going to open the door. 
going to open the door. So as far as just robust and simple and effective, because that 22 blank is very effective. I think this is probably one of my favorites. So this is, it's a little bit weighty. That's probably the only thing that I would have to say is a downside, a little bit bulky, but definitely effective for long term. Now next is your 209 triple arm by Fifth Ops. Uh, this is a really high quality piece. It's aluminum with a really nice anodized finish on it. it has a steel firing pin right here. It actually activates 209 shotgun primers as well. And so this is a really small, compact, very high quality little piece. I really like this. So you bring back your firing pin and you wanna expose the hole that's right here. And then you take this little cotter pin, you push it through. Now this, is, this locks it into place. This also is where you attach your trip wire. And one of the things they actually offer is this Kevlar trip wire, and I highly recommend it. And so then we're gonna open it up. We've got it cocked. Now it has a small hole right here that you can put another pin through as a safety. And so while you're cocking it, you can put that through. Uh, and then we have our 209 shotgun primers. And these little trays are actually offered by Fifth Ops as well. There's a lot of cool things on their website. But we take our 509 primer, drop it right into this piece. And then what we do is we can actually close it up. But to mount it, you can put it through this little eye screw. Now one thing I am gonna recommend is don't attach it to a post like this. Attach your eye screw first and then place in your trip alarm. But as you can see, you have this screwed in, you have your trip wire attached to this, and so then when you attach the trip wire to the other side and it's tripped and it pulls this out and it'll fire it. Once this has been activated, just go ahead and unscrew the top and of course your firing pin will be in the down position and then you can just drop out your primer uh, so it's really easy to do one thing you don't want to do is let this go forward too fast but there's not a lot to hold on to so once you pull that pin it just pops down one thing i would recommend is to put in your eye screw first uh, don't necessarily use the uh, alarm system because you know it does put some undue pressure on it now we have our safety in place so we don't have to worry about it we're going to go ahead and tie this up just a couple of double knots. Put this little nail in with a wide head. We're gonna wrap up our Kevlar cord here. Now remove your safety pin. Oh, dang, that's loud. Now the really cool thing is that you can reuse that same setup because it just pulls the pin out. Let's go ahead and take off our muzzle brake. Here you can see the primer just falls right out. Now this is a super compact little package. It's very high quality and this is so easy to slip into a pack. You know, even into your vehicle, if you have a small pack, it's lightweight. And so to me, this is an excellent option, especially for personal protection. Next, we're going for a little bit of an upgrade. This is the 12 gauge trip alarm by Fifth Ops as well. And you can see the nice hard anodized finish over aluminum. We have our firing pin. You actually have a locking ring right here. And of course you have your split ring. It kind of acts the same way. You just pull your firing pin up and then lock this into place with your pin. Now, one of the big differences with this though is you can put a 12 gauge blank right here. Now we have some of the Dragon's Breath that we used and guys, this is a lot of fun. You just wanna make sure though that you are, uh, when you're activating this that you're just being very careful not to trip that wire because you don't want this to go off you know around your hand or your face and so keep it pointed in a safe direction when you're activating it the same kind of thing we just pull this up just push it right through and it'll hold it right into place and guys again just you know be careful when you're putting this on but it just slips just like this so here we've got it ready and uh, then once it's finished, you can just pull it right off. I mean, you can use flares, you can use a lot of different things. You just wanna make sure that you're careful. You don't wanna start a fire, so a flare may be a little bit too much. But they offer a number of different styles, whether it's the Dragon's Breath, whether it's CS propellant. I mean, there's a number of different things they do, which I think is pretty cool. And so this just gives a lot of flash. One thing I will recommend though, is we left this one out. In fact, I just went and got it off of the post. It was on a, a, a deck post right next to our house. And there was a little bit of rust on this firing pin. 
and so just make sure and actually a little bit right up here too so this is steel and you want to make sure you maintain that if you're going to leave this out in the open and i would highly recommend the kevlar for this uh, or your tripwire but the kevlar they offer right there on the fifth op site in fact it comes in this little container and it actually pops open like this and you can pull it off and then it closes back up to keep it from just going everywhere so you also have two mounting holes or you can take zip ties and tie it around here and that's what these little cutouts are for now we're going to mount our 12 gauge alarm we're going to use these two screws now with this one we don't have a safety so you just want to have a little bit of extra care especially using the blank shotgun shells and with it mounted, it's much easier to pull this back and to set in your pen. Place in our flashbang. Woo! Wow! As you can see, it's really deformed. The shell, pull back your firing pin. Pull that right out. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Blew that thing out. I have to say that was pretty impressive. It really blew that shell out. It's going to stay in there fairly tight too. It's not just going to fall out. Now let's see what it does at night. But Fifth Ops also offers an adapter to be able to use just your regular shotgun primers, which I think is really cool as well. And so again, we have to go ahead and set our firing pin because the firing pin actually interferes with putting in this adapter. So we've got it locked into place. Take the adapter with the shotgun shell. It acts just like a standard shotgun shell that's just a primer. And so this way it's going to be really inexpensive to use. And that's one of the things about using these little short shotgun shells. They can be somewhat expensive, but just the primer, they're really cheap. And so now you're set up again, trip wire, pull it, and then you have a nice little bang. When you're done, just pull it out. Then if you want to go with your shotgun shell, you can drop it in and you've got your blanks ready to go. Now we've got it armed and ready to go. We're going to try the adapter for the shot shells. Pop it in there. It fits a little bit loose, but it should stay right there. Pull back on your firing pin. There's your primer. Just drops right out. Makes it really adaptable. Go with primers or 12 gauge blanks. <laughs> I love it. To me, this is the most versatile. I mean, you have your shotgun blanks, you have your uh, primers, and it's nice and sturdy built. And so I think this is a great option. And again, guys, Fifth Ops has a lot of different things, so you wanna go over and check their site out. I'm not affiliated with Fifth Ops, but I just really like their products. But one thing that we really depend on is a driveway alarm. Uh, we, we've had them for years. We like to have it at the top of our driveway. We have a fairly long driveway, so it alerts us if anyone crosses or pulls into our driveway or even walks by. And there's a chime inside that rings, and so we can hear it. And so it's really funny, even the dogs realize that when they hear that ring, they know somebody's coming down the driveway. There she goes past the alarm and it set it off. Now I'm standing outside of the front door. We're gonna see if we can just hear it. I don't know if you can hear it, it just went off. And here she comes back. So it's like a doorbell at your driveway and it just gives you a fair warning again that somebody is entering the area and you may have friends coming and at least you know they're here so there's a lot of great uses for this not just security but just to know what's going on now as she drives up the driveway we're going to hear the alarm go off with the door closed in the laundry room so you can hear it and the laundry room is all the way back down that little hall and that is where our laundry room is and here she comes back through the drive with the door closed. Excellent. 
And one of the downsides is it can go off like if deer pass by or like my cat. And that's really one of the only downsides. But it is solar powered, so it makes it really nice. But there's a ton of different options out there. Is that hard? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, just another tool in your toolbox when it comes to survival. Or again, just being out in the outdoors, if you're camping, knowing when somebody comes into your area and being alerted to that presence. It can definitely give you an added measure of safety. And plus, you might just get a good night's sleep. And if you're serious about prepping and survival, check out Survival Dispatch Insider. They use some of the top names in the survival prepping community. Uh, we upload one video there every week, and it's great to be able to source through credible information, especially if you're preparing. I'll have a link down below in the description. It's well worth checking out. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic.